Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld Beta 18. Ginger Liam is going to put down some ceiling foam over here soon. I want to test it out, see what it does, but right now we got, got a we got a pig or something that's carrying it around. What are, what are you doing with this, my dude? To the long shelf. Oh, this that makes sense. Put it over there, yes. Boom. Also, sleeping gas. We got gas. Yes, we do. We got gas. How about you? Don't actually... You know, I don't want to know. Never mind. Don't tell me if you got gas. Anyway, you know, we should have like a... I feel like this should be a straightaway. Like straight and then curved left and then you can go up the path. But hey, I didn't build this stupid thing. You know? Also, there's a bunch of meteors in the way. Hey, we got something for that, don't we? Yeah, let's uh, let's make about five mining explosives and we'll take care of that. It won't even be a thing. Uh, Vasilla, what are you doing? Plasteel auto door. Eh, that's a good idea. You know what? Keep doing that. Brexio, when you're done with that, can you put down this ceiling foam can and then uh, actually, you know what? Never mind. We'll just make. Uh... Why is it no longer available? You know what? Brexio, never mind. I said, never, I said, never mind. You don't have to do this. You, do this. Ginger Liam. And don't complain about being overly violent. You know, working with mines is not a violent profession. You call in miners violent? Just because they explode the earth? Nah, man. Don't worry about it. Alright. It's down. Let's arm it. All right. Let's see what it does. That's a little trippy. Chemical foam. Oh, it takes time to solidify, too. That's... All right, I'm not going to lie. That's cool. So it has 30... 30. Tougher than rock when it solidifies. Really? Has 30 health before it solidifies. Let's see where it's at afterwards. Why is there... You can squirrel. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Harden. What? Zero flammability. 8,500 hit points. That's, oh my god, that's nuts. I like how we can smooth it out as an option. Make it more presentable as an interior wall. No, let's, uh, apparently you can also mine it. Let's dig this back out. It's cool. Fish, I know you got your ass beat a couple of times and you're sad about it. It's really cool, and that is a stupid amount of health. I wonder if there's a way you can, uh... Wow, that is insane. Make ceiling foam. I think you were supposed to have done it through this, but still. That is really cool. And ridiculously powerful. Needless to say. Alright. Couple more turrets to get done on the outside. I mean, I could... I could use this to create some very interesting wall segments. I'm not gonna lie. I like... I'm kind of liking the concept. We'll see if we end up using it in the future, but eh. For now, it's just kind of a thing. And apparently, it takes a mining job to get rid of it for some reason. Although, I suppose I could use the mining explosives for that, but I'm not worried about that right now. Ninja Liam's already getting ready to crank those out anyway. Uh, these are all drop-on-the-floor type deals, by the way. Thank you for your support. Uh, 
All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were putting up some different... This is a grenade launcher. I forgot about that. I wanted to try something different, and I did. We'll see how that works out for us. But there it is. Wish Bad Boy launches grenades. Well, maybe it'll be great. Maybe it'll be awful. Who even knows anymore? Just need to get the plasteel door done, though. Then I'll feel safe about bringing in some more... Well, I should say trading away some of these dudes. We got Hyena over here. No injuries. He's fully healed. He's a neat freak. He's bipolar. He's a prostophobe. He's also too smart for this colony. So I'm not sure we can keep him. Pigeon? Inept? That's, that's enough. That's all I need to know. We'll still try to recruit Mosquito. We probably never will successfully, but... You never know if you don't try, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, you're smart lads. So yeah, we've made a lot of this into dirt. Which I think is suitable. And we're harvesting dirt over here. As you can see. Soil and gravel have the same walk speed, so... It's not that big of a deal, I suppose. You know, we could put a moat around this geyser and actually use it if we wanted to. Something to consider. Considering they can't exactly get around the moat. Uh, memes, what are you doing right now? Grinding the sugar cane? That's important. Can you, like, mine out this wall? Actually, you know, I just figured it. It's going to take forever to mine through this wall, isn't it? Let's try smoothing a piece of it and see what that does. Oh, you can chisel it as well. So what's the difference between smooth and chisel? Let's find that out next time. Still, that is some ridiculously strong wall. I mean, he does some decent damage per tick here, but I think we're still going to probably need some clearing explosives to do this. So... I'm just going to put that right there. And we'll let that go to work. You're going to... Hey, do up this wall. I want to see what it looks like. If it gets weaker or stronger, looks better, etc. We'll see. you got for me. I mean, it does look like a wall. I'm not complaining. Make mining explosives is done. I'm not complaining. Superior bone katana is infused. I'm still not complaining. You trying to make me complain here? What are you doing? Huh? I don't understand. Yeah, we're still going to blow it up, though. <laughs> but, so this one's chiseled. I mean, other than that, it's the same. That's fine. That's fine. And this other one would be smooth. So let's have... Uh, Silvermane, you're right over here. What are you doing? Paved tile? Ah, uh, smooth this out instead. It's equally, if not more important. It's not really more important, but I still want it done anyway. Cause I want to see what it looks like. Alright, Ginger Liam, can you go ahead and put the clearing explosive down here, please? Looks like it takes longer to smooth it than it does to chisel it. Same result, though, although the chiseled one arguably looks more like a wall. All right. Thank you, sir. I 
And kablooey. <laughs> like it never even happened. Man, I love them explosives. You know, I wonder if they work the same way on, uh, if enemies were to bring explosives in. Oh, that would be terrifying now. Oh, just thinking about that scares the heck out of me. Hey, Silverman, when you're done delivering that, can you please start on this door? At least deconstruct this so that we can have a space to build the door. Also, I want to put paved tile down in all four of these spaces, and I can't because this freaking wall is here. Thank you, sir. You no longer need to prioritize. Please go about your day. Getting a lot of free dirt over here. It's going the way I expect it. Well, now we got some gold from here. Well, that's good. And I didn't really need it earlier. I mean, I only needed it for one thing earlier, so it all works out. Didn't I call in another trader a while ago, or did I just invent that in my head in some kind of fever dream? I would be willing to believe both scenarios at this point. Anyway, we need more clearing explosives. We put down... We need to clear the road. Literally. So... We could do this somehow. That would be wonderful. And I actually think that'll do it. Got this one here. Where'd I put the other one down? Right here? And there and... There, uh, there's a little bit more space that won't be hit, so put one right there. Three out of four put down. My dude. Please do me these favors. If you can grab all three. No, you can't grab all three. Okay, no. All right, then. <laughs> whatever. It's fine. It's good. It's fine. Fine and good and good and fine and fine and good. It's whatever it is. This pusher is not getting done too. But again, we're concentrating on the defenses over there. And I can't really fault anyone for that. That's fairly important work. Well, I am tempted to tell someone to work on these two corner strips here. I'm not going to do that. Not today. Not today. There's really nothing to do over here in Ragamuffin City right now. I mean, I don't want to say it's perfect, but there's not really much I have to do. Gee, the Don has almost finished uh, the next step of evaluating components for the railgun, but then we got to do the blueprints before we can test it. So we're not at that point yet. That's going to be our next project over here, really, is testing that railgun. Which takes time. Excuse me. Ooh, man, apparently I did not slept enough. That's okay. Who needs sleep when you can rim world? It's getting them placed over here, though. All right, next is examine construction. So the railgun's getting done, slowly, but also with a slight certainty to it. Is there anything else blocking this road? Nope, we're the, well, not we, necessarily. I'm, I'm opening it, but this stupid, uh... Stupid meteors are the main thing blocking the road here. All right, and then it'll be the last one. And then when you're done with that, construct this one and construct that one. I know I'm keeping up, keeping you up late, but you're not below the rest threshold yet. You'll be fine. Perfectly fine. Got two, e well, not two years. I uh, got one year worth of food over here in Century City. <laughs> About three years worth over in Ragamuffin. Gem Trader. There they are. The Gem Trader from the Red Rock Unification. That's who that we called in. We don't really need them now, but they're here. So thanks for coming. Also considering redoing this defense area. To make it look similar to this area over here. Because uh, this, this just looks like crap now. I mean, this looks great. This looks like crap now compared to this. So I might do that, and also to kind of get it out of the way of the road. Plus, I got defenses right up here. I don't think I need that. But we'll see, we'll see. 
We'll see when everything is said and done. Va boom, va bam. All right, now it's just getting them ready, <laughs> getting them set, getting them armed. Devastation is pregnant. Hallelujah! Don't get it twisted. All right, you're once you're done with both of these, you can we can you know detonate and run away. Hopefully, that's not a raid coming our way. Or if it is, it's over in Ragamuffin City where we can have a lot of fun with it. That is a shaman merchant from the White Mesa Nation. Right over here. How y'all doing? Welcome to the party. Please stay clear of the explosive area. Alright. And... Go. Perfect. Actual perfection. The road is clear. I'm sorry about the uh, rough-hewn slate and marble on the floor, but, uh, you know, meteors, what are you going to do? Either way, welcome to the colony. Hope you enjoy. I can't remember what type of trader it is, but, man, they brought a lot of people with them. Shaman merchant. Okay. Hey! Vitemeyer has inspired recruitment. Too bad there's no one over there to recruit. Oh. Boy, vey. Well, we haven't built our new trade spot yet, so I guess there's no point in making them come over here and stay in the new area. Maybe we could build a new guest area over here in this section instead. And then we can kind of uh, divide this area into new bedrooms for, you know, actual colonists who can stay in the, well, in the safe portion. Dude, a bulk goods trader as well? I didn't, I didn't call them, right? I'm pretty sure I didn't. No, I'm pretty sure all the traders that would have been called have been called. So let's go talk to the gem trader. While we wait for the other bulk goods trader to get into our colony. I guess we're doing some trading. Come get you everything. We have it here. Yeah, they can walk over the laser turrets. They can't walk past the sniper turrets, though. Which is unfortunate. Apparently it's Rash and Corona's birthdays today. Happy birthdays to the both of you. Yo, me, how about I uh, change my directory here? No, you don't understand. I still want you to talk. I just need you to move to do it. All right. Well, bam, gem trader. You got steel, you got jade. Do you, did you at least have gold to trade? You did. I have 150. That would have been enough. So you know what? Because I called you here. I will buy it from you. You know, I feel like that's that's only polite. In return, please take, um, you know, thir no, not 1380. 1308 raw flax from us and uh, our smoke leaves. What, you want more? You want coffee? Have some coffee. I don't want to sell you my wood. You don't have clay or piles of dirt, unfortunately, but that's good. Alright, thank you for your support. See you on the other side. Let's go talk with the bulk goods trader next. I mean, it would have been rude to not take it, right? <laughs> to at least not buy the gold? Maybe? I don't know. Of course, I could have just, you know, opened fire on them, I suppose, and did all that good stuff, but I don't want to necessarily do that. All right. You know, we should talk about what it would take to get all these outposts out of, off this island eventually. Right now, we don't have any actual enemies on this island, I don't think. Do we? Relations. 
Not us. Yes. All right. Ragamuffins. Who doesn't? Who do we not like? Dark Frogs, Crazy Gang, T Elm Nation, Winter's Crag, Bello, Indo, Raccoons of Chaos, Falcons. So when it comes to others like Elor, we we're okay with them. We also got Diablo yeah, Kiero, Nira, Hibo Compete. Complete Confederacy. Yeah, we're okay with everyone on here. So we don't have any enemies at this location. Oh, it's trading time. You guys got dirt? I'll buy dirt. Believe it or not, I will buy your dirt. I will not buy your chem fuel. Blank books? I mean, it's kind of tempting. I'll buy your books, though. Yeah, I'll buy books. Why not? Buy some knowledge. What's wrong with knowledge? Nothing. There you go. Crushed rocks. Hey, you actually do. You have crushed rocks. I don't need sand, but I will buy your clay. You do not have piles of dirt. I'm actually not that upset at all, but I'm going to pretend to be because it's more entertaining that way. All right. Sell all the graphic novels and all the bone cups. Even the legendary ones, please. Don't sell the nanite vials, though. They have a lot of games. Yeah, we'll sell some of this cloth that... A lot of this cloth we're never going to use because we have so little of it. So, just dump it. Sure, sell, uh, sell 49 whiskey as well. There you go. And some of these uh, weapons that aren't worth much. Cool. There you go, there's some more money for us. It's a good source of money for us, so... Tell you what, we're going to sell you a lot of weapons. I mean, a lot. Of, I mean, you're going to be buying so many weapons. Just, I hope you like weapons, is what I'm trying to say. And then we're going to buy something off of you to make it worth it. Or maybe we'll just give you the, the weapons. I mean, we don't need the money from them. Let's be real. Selling a bunch of arbalest, one-handed crossbows, all this stuff. Yeah, it can pretty much all go as well. If I lowered the value of our colony, it would actually decrease the size of raids, but I don't really see a point in doing that necessarily. I just want to get rid of all these crossbows and stuff, man. Clothing I'm not even worried about. I'll keep the holy hand grenade, though, for reasons. All right. There's a lot of other stuff getting sold, too. Most of it automatic. I don't need any of this. Yeah, I don't need any of this armor and stuff. That can all go. That can go. These can all go as well. And I guess these can, too. Alright. Just keep it going. Okay, that's all of them, I think. Let's see what else we've got. Let's see what do they have. A controlling Devil's Leaf fabric tack team head cover. Lower psych psychic sensitivity, up shooting accuracy. That's actually pretty good. You know what? I'll buy that off of you. We may never use it, but I'll buy it nonetheless. I don't want your I don't want your chapped hide though. But thank you for your support. Hemp biocomposite crypto double bed. It's not really that good, my dude. So I'm going to have to pass. But thank you nonetheless for your support. You couldn't make me buy the chem fuel. I just won't. It's not going to happen. I don't really need the steel or the coal chunks. Or the chocolate. Or the flour or the milk. I really don't need the milk. I guess I'll buy your cheese. And other than that, uh, there you go. Yeah. Enjoy. I know I will. Have a lot less crap around the house. Oh, yeah. Game already feels more responsive. Thank you for your support. I appreciate that. I really do. And we got one trader coming over here as well. Hopefully these two are not opposing factions. 
They do not appear to be. So that's good. Then when we have a chance, we gotta talk to the shaman merchant as well. Probably won't want anything from them. But the only way to know for sure is to talk to them. So I guess we're gonna have to do that. And we got a lot of stuff to build, but if we can get if we can get this turret done and get these doors done, I'll feel confident in bringing on a raid. I guess I could tear down this area too if I wanted to, but I'm not too concerned. Oh, I missed a clearing explosive over here. Whoops. Well, that's fine. It's not going anywhere. Angel has been inspired. She's gotta go, friends. She's gotta, gotta go fast. So now let's test out the sleeping gas canister. Right here. And I'm just gonna wait until there's like an animal next to it and test it out there. Uh, how are we doing on our 12 uses left? Alright, that's pretty good. No rush right now, though. I mean, you sleep it. I can let you sleep. Everyone can sleep right now, because life is pretty good. What am I doing so important? Researching? Like a loser? All right. These don't need to hold fire anymore, obviously. Well, I'll be going to go bake some pizza. That's what I'm talking about. That's a champion's job. Station, what are you doing in my room? I don't want to know why there's amniotic fluid in my room. We're not going to have that discussion. Not today. Don't ask me when. Research is almost done on the uh, more advanced sleeping gas. Although I'm still very curious to see if this, of the stuff that is up there will actually work. What are you making, fish? Some kibble. Nice. Hello. How y'all doing? Fish and Priscilla. Getting along pretty well. Priscilla's like, I gotta have some cheese. Get out of my way. I'm eating cheese. You can't stop me. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see this done. I think it looks good, too. I could be wrong, though. I kind of want to deconstruct this shield generator now and kind of build a new one. <laughs> like right here. Honestly, I could put it on this side right here and that would be just about perfect. To shield those, but at the same time, I don't think I need to shield these necessarily. I could be wrong. I mean, I've been wrong before and concerned that I'll be wrong again in the future, but dang it. <laughs> Maybe I'm not wrong right now. I probably am, though. Alright, it's apparently relax time right now, which is fine. It's fine. I don't need to force people to go to work, I suppose. But I want to! Gonna have more sheep. It's pretty great. Gonna do more research. It's pretty great. They got muffaloes. That's also pretty great. I really want to see a raid over here anywhere but, but from the bottom, basically. From the left, I should say. This is our only weak spot. And it's actually very weak, because all we have here is a single precision turret. But technically, it's also the only double-walled section. We got this wall and this wall here. So if they do decide to come in from the left, they have to go through more walls before they get into any of the vulnerable areas. Because this stuff, even if it gets blown up, I'm, I wouldn't be too worried about it. That said, yes, I know I should really put more defenses here. Let's not get it twisted. Dismiss. Rocking on some construction blueprints. I'm also excited to test the railgun. Let's not get that twisted either. That's going to be amazing. But, we're going to have to find out how that stuff works next time. Here on that Plays RimWorld Beta 18. I'm probably nowhere near getting the getting that running yet, but we'll see. 
Refined sleeping gas is run done. We can now make a more potent variety of it. I guess we'll research gas vents next, because that makes sense. Cause that said, like I said, this episode is about over. We got more refined gas here. We takes regular medicine, so I'm probably not gonna play with that anytime soon. Although we did just get some herbal medicine. And now they're fighting each other. Of course they are. Gray Plain Confederation and the White Mesa Nation. Well, at least they enjoyed their stay. Bye, Toxos. Sorry that happened. Kind of. Thank you for the communicating green cloth, waste cloth of omnipotence. And thank you all for watching this episode of That Plays RimWorld Beta 18. If you enjoyed it, make sure you let me know about all that good stuff. Next time, we are testing out this defensive system here. Till then, I'll see you in the next video.